<laughs> I woke up, I washed my hair. It was good, looking good. Took my dogs to the groomer, it's raining out. Got home and my hair was a big frizz puff. So, this is where we are. So we're gonna talk some favorites today. I have makeup, I have skincare, I have nail polish, I have clothing. We have a little bit of everything. Let's do it. Let's start with skincare. I'm obsessed with this Innisfree pore mask. Oh my goodness. So I had gotten a little sample of this from Sephora. I'm just like all maxed relaxed. So I got a sample of this from Sephora and I was like, I'm buying the full size because it's so good. Went to Sephora expecting to pay like $40, $50. This was under 20, if I'm not mistaken. I'll put the price up on the screen. This is so good, especially if you're oily, but I feel like if you're dry, you would like this as well. A lot of times with a clay mask, they get really tight, really like, they feel like they're stripping your skin of everything that it's ever had. Like every nutrient that your skin has ever had is gone. This one doesn't get super tight. When you take it off, your skin doesn't feel like it was just through like 10 rounds. And it's so freaking cheap with super volcanic clusters. Cools on contact, absorbs excess oil, visibly smaller pores while helping to improve the overall look and texture of skin. Does everything. It's freaking amazing. I use it all the time. I just got this one not too long ago and like we're, we're almost halfway. I, I freaking love it. And it's cheap. Like for Sephora, it's cheap. Go buy it. Seriously, go buy it. Okay, wanted to give a quick mention to the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. I only use this in the summer. Ooh, there was like face mask everywhere. <gasps> what the frank? I only use this in the summer for my melasma. I get it like on my cheeks. I get it on my stash. I get the beautiful melasma stash. I've talked about it a thousand times. So I've tried a lot of products. This is the only one that has ever truly worked to like lighten my melasma. I will use products religiously and they don't do anything. This is, this is the only one that's ever worked for me. Like it's already lightened it this year, like this summer. It freaking works. It's pricey, but it does work. This is my one from last year and I probably should get a new one. But I'm not going to, I'm gonna use this one. Okay, a sunscreen that, oh my God, oh my God. Kate Somerville Daily Deflector Mineral Sunscreen. Holy shit. You guys, I feel like finding a good sunscreen for your face is like finding a freaking diamond in the rough. It's very rare that I find a sunscreen for my face that I'm like blown away by. This is so, 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 so good. So Kate Somerville sent this over to me right when I had bought one from Paula's Choice. That one I have since returned because I just wasn't a fan of it. This one, it's SPF 40. It is so, like it feels like you're putting skincare on. It's not thick. It doesn't give your skin a white cast. It just blends in, soaks in so like, soft and smooth oh my gosh and my mom used this the other day she was about to put something else on and I'm like no you have to try this she put it on and she was like what is that I'm like girl you are not getting this I will buy you one but you're not getting this one she loved it it's amazing if you're looking for a facial sunscreen oh shoot I have my freaking airpod in oh my god I forget what I was saying but I freaking love this it is pricey. It's Kate Somerville. It's good. It's real good. My new favorite facial sunscreen. Okay, I think that's it for sunscreen. Let's talk hair. So you guys know that my main issue with my hair is freaking frizz. <laughs> this next product has changed my life. Not being dramatic. Oh, not being dramatic. Wow Color Wow Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. This is the mini one. I just need to get the full size from Sephora. I've been through like five of these. Oh my God. So 
you wash your hair, put it up in a towel. I let it sit in a towel for like five minutes just to get like some of the water out. And then you're supposed to section your hair off. Now I don't have a lot of hair, so I section it off like into two sections. Spray until it's like fully coated, saturated, coated. And then I take a round brush and I blow dry my hair. If you think your hair's dry, keep blow drying. That's one of the tricks with this. You have to blow dry your hair like fully dry. This stuff, ow, this hat is kind of hurting my head. This stuff will, it like eliminates frizz. I don't know what is in here. I don't know how it freaking works. But one thing I was reading up on it, one thing you're supposed to do is really apply tension when you're blow drying it. Like you really want to be going in with the round brush. So you don't want to just like blow dry with no tool and just like have your hair flying everywhere. You really need to like, you know what I mean? You know. If you have frizz, you have to try this. Like I said, I don't know what's in it. There might be something in here that I shouldn't be putting on my hair, but it works so good that I don't know that I can stop using it, even if there's something bad in it. Magically transforms texture, amazing humidity proofing powers. I don't know about the humidity proofing because it's raining out and my hair turned into a frizz ball today. But if it's not raining like directly on your head like this, it works. For frizz, if you have frizzy hair, go buy it. Ow, gosh dang it. This hat has like an ultra long brim. I think that's why I don't wear it. Ow, my piercing is getting like smushed. Hold on, I gotta take my earring out. Bad things are happening. Okay, earring out. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, yeah. This was one of the main things I wanted to talk about in this video. And something weird, like when I'm halfway through drying my hair, it gets really frizzy and I'm like, it's not working. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. Keep going. And by the time you're done, your hair will just be like hair model. I mean, let's not push it with me, but so much better than it is without this product. Oh, I love it. I freaking love it. Oh. I have to mention this. I love a good mist. Bath and Body Works Belize Tropical Cabana. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a tropical paradise. So I don't use this on its own though. Where's my... Oh my god. I put this on and then I put my dossier Ambery Saffron. Look at my bottle. But don't fret, my pet. I have a full one. This is, I talked about this before, it's my absolute favorite perfume ever. Ambery Saffron from Dossier, I'll put it down below. I've never had more compliments on a perfume. This first, this second, and my Baccarat Rouge Hair Mist. I've never smelled better in my freaking life. So this is a new little addition that I've added in, just as kind of like a base. I always need to smell good. It's it's just a thing. So I love this. I really like a lot of Bath and Body Works mists. Some people don't like a fragrance mist. I freaking love them. I have little ones that I keep in my purse. It's a thing. This is my fave currently. Oh, and I have a deodorant. <laughs> Who knew that men's deodorant was so good? I feel like people knew I was kind of like out of the loop, but I tried the Old Spice Timber with sandalwood. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Mm. It smells so good. Tony tried to steal this from me the other, or no, it wasn't Tony. It was my son, Hunter. He's like, ooh, I like that. And I'm like, um, excuse you. You are not, I think he used it probably on those crusty old pits. I love this deodorant. I've been using it like exclusively. That sounds like such like a big word for deodorant. I've been using it exclusively for like a month and oh baby, I love I it. We're, oh, we might as well talk nail polish. Okay, cruise control from KB Shimmer. Look at that color. Freaking feast your eyes. I had this one in a video not too long ago. I feel like it's not focusing. And you guys were like, what is that nail polish? It's so pretty. Cause it has this like, 
it's blue with a blue shift. Like it's like a, I don't know, like a, what would you even call that? Like a, not a royal blue, it's like a cobalt ocean blue with like a lighter blue, like iridescent shift. It's so good. It's so like icy and summer. I love it. I've been loving it, worn it like four times already, only got it like a month ago. It's good. KB Shimmer does it right. Finally getting into makeup. Okay. I do have an unfavorite. Should we start with that to kind of mix things up? Oh my God, we're living on the edge. Okay, someone on TikTok told me to buy the Burt's Bees Matte Lipstick in Buttery Blush. They told me, my husband is texting me. They told me it was a dupe for Pillow Talk, which I do have, so why did I need the dupe? I don't know. But I hate the formula. I don't know if I got like an old one. I got an old one, but like the formula of mine is so crappy. And I don't think it's like a true dupe. I mean, the color is really pretty, but the formula is very odd. It's like, let's put some on. I hate it. It's actually not as bad right now because I had like a lip gloss on that I'm gonna talk about. But if you put this on just on like dry lips, the formula's dry and like, it doesn't apply evenly. It, it, I think I may have gotten an old one. Let me know if you have it and you like it. Um, but the one I have is crap. Which is rare for Burt's Bees, so. Okay. Okay, wait, I just did a comparison and they actually are really close. That is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and that's the Burt's Bees one. But the formula of the Burt's Bees one just isn't that great. Maybe it's just me because I'm not a fan of a matte lip, but I feel like it's really like an odd, dry, almost like chalky formula. But the colors are kind of spot on. Like the Charlotte one is a little bit deeper, but they are really, really close. Okay, let's talk foundation. You guys already knew this was going to be in the Tarte. Hydroflex. Oh my god. I'm obsessed with this freaking foundation. I used it in a video. I'll put it up in a card. I need to buy the full size. I have not done that yet, but oh my, I have it on today. It's so natural, beautiful, light, not greasy, doesn't break apart on me, doesn't slide off by the end of the day, lasts all day, looks so natural and so good. I can't say enough good things about this. It's my new favorite. Like, I love you L'Oreal Infallible. Like if I need like a foundation, this is what I wear. If I want more of like a tinted moisturizer, really light finish, this is what I wear. It's so good. But I've also been loving the new Laura Mercier Oil Free Tinted Moisturizer. Oh, this is so good. So the shade I have is Bisque, but the Bisque in the Oil Free is not the same as the Bisque in the original formula, which I've talked about before. It's a lot darker. Can you see it right there? But this stuff has some coverage. Like, I feel like this is a foundation. It says Natural Skin Perfector Tint and Moisturizer. No, 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 no. This is a foundation. Like, it covers really well. And there are some days that I don't even wear it because I don't want that much coverage, which I've never had happen to me with a tinted moisturizer. It actually has more coverage than the Tarte one. If you're looking for something that's not quite a foundation, but it's not a tinted moisturizer, so good. And if you're oily, get the new oil-free one. Lasts on me all day. It has SPF 20. Like it's a beautiful, amazing foundation-y tint and moisturizer kind of thing. I love it. Like the formula is just so good. Oh, I love it. How many times have I said I love it in this video? Okay, uh, the Chanel Le Beige Healthy Glow Powder in number 20. I love the packaging. I feel like it's so like, just beautiful. I've had this powder forever and I was not wearing it for a very long while and I don't know why. And I've recently started using it and I, oh my God. Oh, it 
has SPF 15. I did not know that. Beautiful, beautiful powder. I put it on today. It's very light, but effective. Like, it doesn't look like a heavy, like, loose powder. Do you know what I mean when you put, like, a loose powder on and they bake it on there? I would die. So it's like a lighter... It's amazing. It's a gorgeous powder. Like, it doesn't have a glow to it, but it's not like a flat matte powder. It's like the perfect in-between. It's not, like, glowy, but it's not matte. It's just, like, so natural and pretty. I really, really like it. Um, I've also been loving the new Laura Mercier Rose Glow. Oh, my God, it has fingerprints all over it. Rose Glow um, Highlighter. Absolutely gorgeous. It just has enough of like a rosiness to it, but it's not too rosy. Gorgeous. The formula is amazing. The packaging is beautiful. I've really, really been liking this. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous product. I have been obsessed with an old favorite, Hot Mama from The Balm. Oh my gosh, I have it on today. I cannot stop wearing this freaking blush. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's like so natural, but it has a little bit of like luminosity to it that I love in the summer. Ooh, it's just beautiful. I've had this forever. I didn't touch it for probably a year. I used it like, I don't know, like three weeks ago and I was like, oh my God, I forgot how good that was. I've worn it when I'm not kidding you every single day since. I go in like fits with products where I just use them so I'm loving this LA Girl Shockwave Eyeliner in Lullaby. It, oh, you know what? I didn't put anything on today. Let's, oh, you're not gonna be able to see it with my stupid hat. But it's like an icy, oh, my voice cracked. It's like an icy, like white, but it has like a little bit of gold to it. You'll see in the close up. It's really, really pretty, and it just makes your eyes look so, like, bright and just awake. So I've been wearing this a ton, and the formula is really nice, too. Like For it, being, like, a few dollars, it freaking lasts. Oh, this is the lip gloss that I had on at the beginning. Tower 28. What is it called? Shine On Lip Jelly in Coconut. I love this formula. It is, like, it feels like a gel. It has that, like, thickness to it. Do you know what I mean? Without being, like, thick, that makes no sense. The formula is so gel-like and comfortable. Not sticky, not greasy. Tower 28 checks all of my boxes every single time. I love their cream blushes. We've talked about them before. I have two of them. This one is Golden Hour. Tell me that is not just the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen. Oh, I love Tower 28. Love them. Can do no wrong. Okay, um, so you guys saw this in my Get Ready With Me, the Essence Lash Princess Curl and Volume Mascara. Oh my gosh. This has been my new fave. I did buy a new mascara that I tried today, the Bambi Eyes Oversized. Oh, we can put this in the unfavorite category. Hmm. It just didn't do what I wanted it to do. I was expecting like a fluffy, super voluminous lash and I got like very like stuck together eyelashes, uh, four on each eye. It just, no. Nah. And it didn't give me any freaking length whatsoever. So as of right now, I don't like it. That could change. At first I didn't think I liked this one and now I love it. If you want volume, curl and a fluffy lash this oh my god this is the way to go beautiful mascara and it's like five bucks if that the fenty bright fix eye brightener i'm a fan of this and i'm picky when it comes to like correctors or eye brighteners this one is butter 
So when I first saw this color, I'm like, that is not going to work for me. And Erin was like, uh, Nicole, buy it. That's our color. So I bought it and she was right. So thanks, girl. Um, the formula is really, really nice. Like, it's very hydrating. It's not heavy. You can wear it on its own, which I really like if I'm in a hurry or I just don't feel like putting like a full on concealer on. I'll just put this on. It gives a little coverage, brightens things up. The formula just looks so pretty on your under eyes, but it works really well under concealers as well. So I'm a fan. I really, really like this. And I did not think I was going to, but I really, really like it. Oh, you know I had to mention the freaking Dazzle Stick from KVD. Oh my gosh. This one is Hail Surge. You guys, here, let me get a little bit of it. This thing is, <laughs> look at that. If you want metallic, shimmery madness on your eyelids, you need to buy one of these. And I started, like when I used it in the video with you guys, I just put it on with the stick, but I do find that I like to kind of put it on my finger. You just have a little bit more control because the packaging, not the packaging, the actual product, it can be a little bit like soft. So you can get like a big clump on your eye. So I have a little bit more control just using my finger, but the product itself is, oh my gosh. Like when you're out in the sunlight, it's just glittering and shimmering. It's beautiful, very like bold. It's not like a, a soft, like delicate girl next door eye unless you do super, super light. Like this is freaking eyeshadow and it's beautiful. The formula is so nice. Once it dries, it is not moving for, I swear like three days you could wear this and it would not budge. It's really good. I was very skeptical, but I was wrong. It's really good. Okay, and I wanna mention the Pixi On The Glow blush. It looks like a little deodorant. This one I think is juicy. Yeah, these are, oh my gosh. This is summer in a blush right here. Ooh, look at that color and the formula is so dewy, but somehow it lasts on my oily skin. I don't know how, but it does. This makes your skin look so healthy and like glowy. You're drinking all your water. You're doing everything you're supposed to do. Like you are, you're getting it on with your man, woman. Like you have that like glow, that like after you know what glow. You're hydrated, you're fulfilled in every area of life. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this blush, I love it. Okay, moving on to clothes. Well, a purse. I love this purse. I freaking love the color. I freaking love the shape. I love everything about it. I can wear it cross body. Let me show you. Oh, I've hooked it because I didn't even have it hooked right, but like these little things open so you can like get in it, but you can still get in it without opening that, which I really like. It's just so pretty. You can wear it with any color, white, black, brown, gray, red, pink, everything. It goes with everything. Classes up an outfit. The shape is perfect. It's not too big. It's not too small. I love the crossbody. I love this bag. I love this bag. Uh, big thanks to Teddy Blake. They actually sent this bag over to me. This is not sponsored. They just sent it to me and I love it. So I wanted to show it to you guys. They had sent me one like a year or two ago and I wore the crap out of that bag. It was like a black like bucket bag. Oh my gosh. So I've been loving this. And I want to talk about this t-shirt. Tell me this is not the cutest shirt. This is from Urban Outfitters. I saw someone on TikTok wearing this and I went on a mad hunt to find this shirt. What's it say at the bottom? Life's a trip. Take time to enjoy, love one another. And then up here it says something about kindness. It's so cool and I love that the design is also on the back. I wore it to pick up subs the other day and the young guy was like, oh my God, I love that shirt. It's like, thanks dude. I'm a cool mom. I didn't say that because I'm not a cool mom, but it's fine. I pretend to be a cool mom. 
we have to talk about this freaking bikini. I'm obsessed with it. It's from Target. The brand is Kona Soul. Oh my gosh, I've never felt more confident in a bikini in my life. Like these little, do you see how it has these little like cutouts? It's so comfortable and I love that you can adjust the tie. Like some bathing suits that you have to hook, like it has to be the perfect fit. This one is like very adjustable. I love it. And the bottoms are not too like cooch showing, like your vag is not hanging out. You have coverage in the back. It has like a little, I don't know, what's that on the side? Like, you know, a little skin peeking out. I'm obsessed with this bikini. I've worn it so many times. I'll have it linked down below. So good. Mine are both a large, but I could wear a medium in the top, but the large fits me perfectly. So, oh, the best bathing suit ever. Another Target item. These freaking sandals. Oh my gosh, I love them. The brand is Shade and Shore. They're so cute. I love a very minimal sandal where you have like very little going on. These are just so cute. I love them. I've worn the crap out of them. And I wish they were black and white. Like I wish they came in black and white. But I've surprisingly worn like the corally peachy color with so many things like I would wear it with this top because it matches like everything doesn't have to perfectly match they were $15 and they're so comfortable love them I love them what else can I say about them? Anyways, you know one thing I do want to mention I just got this product I've only used it one time but I have a feeling this is going to be a favorite. Okay, Makeup Revolution Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer, but used as a contour. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Hollywood contour one that is always, always sold out. I used this for the first time today. Mine is in Deep Caramel. You guys, like, they're basically the same product. I love this thing. It blended so beautifully. I'm gonna give you a little side by side. Okay, so that's the Revolution one. That's the Charlotte one. So you can see the Charlotte one is definitely like a softer shade. But this freaking Makeup Revolution one blended out so beautifully. Like after I used it, I was like, oh my gosh. Like. I like the Charlotte Tilbury one. Like, I really, really love the highlighter and the blush. But the contour is probably, like, my last favorite. Just because I'm not a big contour person. But I don't know. There's something about this Revolution one that I really, really like. The formula was so easy to blend out. I, I do still think that the Charlotte one is a better formula. Like, it's a very thin soft formula that is foolproof but the makeup revolution one is also a really great really really nice formula so if you can't get your hands on the charlotte one or you don't want to spend like fifty dollars on it i think this was 8.99 at ulta i would totally totally recommend this it worked beautifully so she's going in with my charlotte products and that is a very coveted area Okay, I think we've hit everything that I wanted to hit. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this favorites video. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, I'll just throw it in. So, um, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know your favorites down below. Any products that I have to have. You guys tell me. Because you guys always put me on the good stuff. Um, yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm so sorry about the baseball hat, you guys. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. I'll make it up to you. I don't know how, but I will. I'll tell you about some really great products. How about that? That'll make up for it. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there. I hate myself. Myself off my god dang it, can I get a paper towel? I'll just use my beautiful Jordan sweatshirt that I bought for two dollars at the thrift store. It's fine. My favorite sweatshirt, no big deal. It's a good day. I just found the notes on the back. Oh shoot, you can't see it. Okay, here, I'll show you the front. Banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and golden sands. Are you kidding me? Ah! Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> that freaking backfired on me. <coughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. <coughs> Alright, let's try that again. Woo! Tell me 
Mm-hmm. How beautiful that is. Like, do you see the little shimmers in there? Do you see them? Mm. It just makes me want to shake my booty. It makes me want to just do a little... Oh my god! From that angle, it looked like I had a freaking donkey. But I don't. I, got, I just got a camel. I just got a camel. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, I'm sorry to my little face mask. I had to waste a little bit of you for the close-up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mummy story.